right, so this right here is the end of part four. What I've done here is I compiled all four parts into one complete video, and I hope you enjoy it. So with that, let's get to it. work. What's the motto? Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom. Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Or is that the post office? Karate Kid, right the circle, left the circle. Oh man, tell you what.
So my intent is to camp right here on my porch under the stars. The rain's gone, it's gonna be a good night, and it'll be my first night on my property. So the reason why I'm cooking on a butane stove is because the mosquitoes are out now, and I'm at the edge of a swamp. I don't want that fire going out because I want the warmth, but most importantly, I want the smoke and the heat. So that's where we're at right now. Finish this, catch you all in a few. Mm -mm. Mm. The spam is actually really good. Mm. brace and brace then I'll three bolt the bottom and it should all work out Good thing it's not per code. <sighs> Be getting all kinds of fines, tell you what. Zero Fs at Corporal's Corner. Mm. Mm. Lunch time. Boom, look at that. I'll take that as a win, so. Yeah.
Curly's pulled pork. That's amazing. And Grandma's mustard potato salad. Mmm. Mm-mm. Yeah. This is really good. Once again, nope. Um, real quick though, announcement, June 3rd to the 5th, I'll be in Georgia at Blade Show, booth 1243. Once again, that's Blade Show in Georgia, June 3rd through the 5th at booth 1243. Come check me out, and yes, my knife's going to be there, but limited quantities. We're talking between 50 and 75, and they're going to go like that. So try and get there Friday. If not, maybe Saturday morning, early as possible. Love it when a plan comes together. All right, stop. Corner time.
and I give you the Corporal McMuffin. Now if I could harness the power of the McGriddle, we'd be in business. Oh man, this is outstanding. Get you on a few. Mmm. Mm-mm. Yeah, just dripping off there. Mmm. Try sleeping inside there. No airflow. Um, it's too hot. So moved out here with that fire going. All the mosquitoes were kept at bay. So I just can't wait to actually get inside there. Baby sprinkles, that's it. I want a downpour, man. I want to test this bad boy out. So black wire with brass screws, white wire, silver screws, and ground green screw. So we'll go over this Blue Eddy solar power generator in a little bit here, but uh, I want to set this to AC on, plug in my pigtail that's going to power my outlets. And if we've done our job properly, look at that. Love it when a plan comes together. Light is green, trap is clean.
So we got big board right to hand. And small board left to hand. Be here all day. Alright, my Salvatore Tomahawk Ribeye Steak on a Bone to celebrate my 10 day build. So, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so tomorrow house tour and then uh, we'll wrap it up. So, with that, catch you all in the morning. I need a mattress. And we're getting there. Okay. All right, so a lot of work needs to be done here. A lot of work still. But the structure's up. The basic interior is done. You can see what I'm trying to do here. And I have myself a permanent base camp or a jumping off point or a war room. But we can come here and talk about stuff and then head on out. Um, Right over here by the sink, the plan is, at the bottom, some type of refrigerator here on the left, and then the plumbing, what I want is rainwater collection into a couple, two, three, or four 55-gallon uh, blue drums, and then have it pumped either from a solar pump or a foot pump into a filter, then into the sink, and then run a pipe about you know, 40, 50 yards out or feet out, and let gray water just go out. Um, for now, you can see the sink is just there. At some point, insulate the walls. I haven't decided drywall or probably plywood. I want it rustic looking. Over here, mattresses, that's a guarantee. Um, this sucks, so I'm just saying. But we got storage under the bed. This wall over here, the fans seem to work fine. Where the heater currently is, a wood burning stove would be nice at some point in the future, like winter time. And I can just relocate the TV over to here, and we can sleep face in this direction. Um, underneath the cabin, frame that whole thing in, so I have storage for blankets, food, wood, etc. And then at some point in the future, the far, far future, an outhouse. So it's all coming together. Um, but here it is. 10 day build, unassisted, with very little to no skill, and it worked out. So. Here's my answer for those that say, well, I could never do that. Yeah, you could. They got pamphlets and books that are about that thin, and you can look through it in about 20 minutes and make something like this. All right, one, two, yeah, whatever.
we're talking about right there. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One of my Amazon Influencer page and two of my Self Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do me that favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. You know, the saying used to be, if I were that rich, I'd wipe my butt with $100 bills. Now, we just toss 2x4s in the fire. Fat stacks.